Yeah, Jack McDonald says there will be no uh, bench-clearing brawl uh, tonight because uh, he figures uh, they're outnumbered. <laughs> That's right, Jack. Anyway, there's a couple of guys that, uh, that uh, weren't on the bench here, and one of them is behind me. Uh, he was the GM for the uh, Capriol Mazookas uh, in the later part of the 70s. He's going to sort of be in charge of our choreography tonight. Cracks McDonald. And uh, one other guy I'm going to mention, uh, he's way up in the podium. Uh, Dave Glossman played a lot of uh, minor baseball. Uh, we used to go into Sudbury with Dave, and I think Burke uh, remembers him quite well. We had some real good uh, ball games against uh, Burke's team, uh, Steel team, uh, Mike Jacobo and the like. Mike Jacobo was going to be here tonight, but he had a commitment playing uh, minor ball in Southern Ontario. Uh, anyway, Dave Colossman up there, and uh, he works for TSN now, and uh, he's uh, going to he's going to take this uh, whole game. Uh, I don't know if there's any other players out there. Okay, we're going to just uh, gas and Scott. We're going to let our Legion members through so they can make their way to the pitcher's mound. Uh, I now want to introduce. Uh, We've got five game officials here, if, if that's what we want to call them. And this guy, he sort of thought that uh, he could be the crew chief, and I had some doubts, but uh, he always predominated dominated me anyway. I'd like to introduce Bill Prince. We all know the uh, voice of the Sudbury Wolves. Uh, he umpired... Uh, many, many years ago, for many years, and, and he's right in with this crew of officials we have here tonight, Burke Keeney. And we all remember uh, another official by the name of Paul Buta, he a uh, long-time umpire through the uh, 70s, Paul. Now this other guy, he was a real, real fun guy, he was a good umpire, we had a lot of respect for him, we had a lot of fun with him. He liked us, we liked him, Connie Comtois. And last, we have a guy by the name of Don Prescott. I could, I could be here for hours talking about Don, but we're not. Uh, just great to see Don and Nada and the grandson here this, uh, for these days. Anyway, Don Prescott. I think our Legion members are going to make their way to the, um, to the pitcher's mound. We now direct your attention to the pitcher's mound where the Capriol Royal Canadian Legion will be displaying the colors. Please welcome uh, Mr. Jim Lacan, member of the Capriol Diamond Jubilee. Jim, good ball fan, and Jim is going to sing the national anthem. Jim.
son, uh, we're going to have a, a a little meeting at home plate with the, uh, the game officials, uh, maybe the uh, coach and captain of the Sudbury team, uh, Mannix and uh, Silvio, maybe up here for the uh, Capriol team. I want to thank uh, Frank Rupnik of the Sudbury Star.